Hey guys, it's Melissa, and this week I promised a concert review. The very first one in a super duper long time, but it was also the winter time, and I don't really go to concerts in the winter, but let's talk about it. I went to see the one and only Florida Georgia Line. I got the shirt. It's really nice, and it's them and like the American flag. And then on the back it has all the like places they play which is super cool and I just want to talk about how much of a great time it was. So I went with my boyfriend and the two of us got there and it was snowing. Prudential Center did not open their doors right away. Kind of pissed about that because it was snowing. May I tell you, it was cold, it was snowing and we had to stand outside. Not the best thing. Once we get in, we get through security, whatever, get our tickets, find our seats, we're sitting there, it's now 6.30, so we're a whole half hour into when we, like, got there. And he goes, do you want a shirt? I said no. The line was really long. Decided against it. Wound up getting this. What I'm wearing, because I wore school today. And then, sorry for my sniffling. I am very congested, and I don't know why, and I think it's because I stood out in the snow. Not gonna lie. So, we sit around for another half hour, waiting for the show to start. And it starts five minutes early. It starts at... 6.55. I was very confused and this person comes out and her name was Seth Ennis. Not gonna lie. Had no idea who this person is. Still don't know who this person is. And personally, I thought their music was like, eh. But according to people around me, they really liked him and thought he was good. So whatever. It was like, cool, cool. He finishes and I expect Chris Lane or Dustin Lynch to come out like rather quickly and come back on stage, but they didn't. And um, we had like a 10 minute break, which was good. I mean, they gave you enough time in between like your performances to kind of resolve yourself. So the next person to come out was Chris Lane. I was so hype. I love him. I think he's super cool because he's more of like a pop country. So it made me very happy. And he sang a couple of his songs, did a bunch of music, whatever, which is really great. And I'm going to put some, like, I'm going to put all my videos in another video so that this isn't a thousand years long. And you can watch that afterwards. So he was really good. I had a great time. My boyfriend kept staring at me going, how do you know all these songs? Because he was singing songs that weren't country. He was singing a bunch of songs, whatever. Then we had another 10 minute break and Dustin Lynch came out. <laughs> and let me tell you, this guy can sing, right? But for some reason, his teeth are so obnoxiously white, and they're so obnoxiously big, I um, literally laughed at him the entire time, because the camera would go like this, and it would zoom in on his face while he was singing, and all you saw was teeth. Like, he was... It was so... Like, I just wanted to laugh the entire time. It was hysterical. Mind you not that I'm trying to sing along to his music, and I would look up and see his teeth. It was really funny. Like, nothing against him, it just made me laugh the entire time. Like, love his music to death. Um, and then there was, like, another bigger break because he finished with a lot of time in between his set and when Florida Georgia Line went on. And at this point, I realized, I was like, they drink a lot at country concerts. Because Dustin Lynch's set, he had two people jug chug their beers, and I was like, what the fuck? But whatever, it was intense. And now we're, like, sitting around, whatever. And right before Florida Georgia Line came out, we like turned because I was like, what the hell? Like everyone was moving away from their seats in the section next to us. Some girl started like puking her brains up and I was like, no, no, can't happen. Not half, like no. And I like turned around and was looking the other direction. Felt bad for the poor girl, but I just couldn't handle it. It was terrible. Florida Georgia Line comes on. And the entire tour is sponsored by whiskey. It was old camp whiskey, by the way, if anyone's wondering. But the whole thing sponsored by them. So they're drinking on stage the whole time. They had a bunch of amazing songs, you know, some oldies, some new ones. Very great time. I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I wish I could go back. I wish they played more songs. They played a lot less than what I thought because at Prudential, the stage is all the way on, like, one side because it's a hockey arena as well. So it's all the way on one end of, like, the hockey rink, and the other end is just, like, where everyone sits. 
so half like a third of the way through their show they like stopped and it got dark and they wound up in the back there's another little stage stage set up there with like lights and uh, chairs and stuff that way they could perform for the people who couldn't see them that well which i thought was super cool it was a little bit closer to us but we their backs were facing us so it was interesting and then again they finished there and they went back to the front but may i tell you that a couple people who were sitting next to us thought that after they finished in the back, the show was over. And I'm thinking to myself, they haven't played Cruise yet. Granted, Cruise is from like 2011 or whatever year it was from. It is like their biggest hit, so they're not going to not play it. But the people next to us wound up leaving. They're like, oh, we'll see you later. And it was only 10.30, so like, there's no shot it's over. They came back out and played for another half hour, which was awesome. The concert ended up ending all around 11.15. But I had a great time. They brought the dog out. They brought a kid on stage. And if I could go see them again or go back and, like, re-see them, I definitely would. And I recommend everyone else seeing them. But I don't want to make this much longer. And next week I have a pretty cool video coming out if I can get it filmed on time. So until next time, I guess uh, we got it, get it, got it, goodbye. Wow, I'm bad.